The trail today that we're going to go check is going to be a mountain bike trail. It's a new trail that they created up in the uh, Canaan Valley area. It's a golf course. Uh, it also, across the road from the golf course, there's a, a ski resort. Uh, they have a, uh, a trail that they created for a mountain bike race, and since then they've um, opened it up to the public. It's supposed to be a seven-mile loop. Door to slam shut. It's going to be a seven mile loop and uh, supposedly it's uh, beginner friendly. Um, <clears throat> we're going to take one of the dogs with us to just check it out. Heidi's not really feeling the best today, uh, but she's going to come along and be a trooper. Uh, we'll probably not get all seven miles of it in today, but we just wanted to go up and get a, a good idea of uh, what type of trail it is and the conditions. Um, just to kind of give you all a report and for us to be able to see if we can take the rest of our dogs for future uh, adventures. But uh, that's where we're going to go today. We're going to go try it out and see how it is and give you a report. Man, it's windy today. close. As we came in, we found this parking spot here on the left. It's a overlook. Uh, it's not very busy today, so it was going to work for us today. You ready to go? Hmm? Yeah? All right, let's go. Come on. Go. Joey's bike shop was telling me about this trail. He said it's a smooth, flowy, easy trail. That is something we've been needing in this area for some time now.
What do you think? Timber, this way. Come on. Top one, yeah. Let's, let's do the top one. Let's do the top one. Yeah. Come on, this way. Down here, when you first come into this resort, it's a golf course. You'll pass the uh, campground on the right. You just keep going past that, and you'll come to an intersection. The lodge is on your right, and there's cabins if you go to your left. You just keep going straight, and the parking spot that we found was on the left. Um, if you keep going down the hill, there's a pool access road down at the bottom of the hill on the right. There's more parking up there, and supposedly uh, that's where you're supposed to get onto the trail. Might be a little icy. apologize for the shaky video on this trail uh, basically just holding the camera I did not have no GoPro mounts for my bicycle helmet most of ours is on our motorcycles and this was a last minute idea to come up here and try this trail out it looks like that trail must have just came maybe it's just a little extension <coughs> Looks pretty muddy here. So far, it's not so bad. <laughs> I guess there's more than one loop. I say we just stay on the main looking one. <laughs> what do you think? That looks like it's been used the most. We had passed a few trails coming up this trail. The main trail is marked with purple markers on the trees. The trail is actually a new trail and it has been pretty wet. Um, once the trail gets ridden in, I feel that uh, it will get packed down. And although it wasn't that bad today, Canaan Valley Resort is located close to the Davis, West Virginia area. You just got to remember that we're on the purple trail so we can find our way out of here. This is just like, it's a trail, but it, maybe it looks more like just an accident road. So we're on the Promised Land Trail. There's been many different trails leading off of it, but we believe we're on the main trail. It's supposed to be a seven mile loop. Uh, like I was saying, it was a race course, and then after the race, they opened it up for the public. Uh, me and Heidi, we've done a lot of mountain biking in the Davis area. We are between Harmon and Davis at the snow, sh or I'm sh sorry, not the snowshoe. <laughs> We are at the Canaan Valley Golf Course, across the road from the Canaan Valley Ski Resort. Um, we've never mountain biked over here any. Uh, most of the mountain bike trails we've done over in the Davis area is mostly rocks, technical. Uh, but this is a nice flow, flowy track um, good to take out your dogs 
we like our dogs to run and if there's a bunch of people around or cars or you have to we try to keep them on the leash but that's why we like this area we can take our dogs out and let them run we only brought one today because we really wasn't sure what we was getting into is our first time on the trail and we have Australian Shepherds and they love to run I uh, kind of wish I brought the other two but when you're not sure what you're getting into it's easier to handle just one of them but so far I think we like what we're seeing I drug Heidi out of the house she's not feeling too good today but she's hanging in there <laughs> that's when when you don't feel like going but it's a beautiful day and it's two days before Thanksgiving you don't get too many good days to get out on the trail so we were busy around the house and I eventually just said we got to go do something so here we are seeking a new trail it's what we're all about trying to find places to go take you along on our adventures and Hopefully you can go out and find a trail that's suitable for you and start your own adventure. Want a picture of this, babe? I don't know if I can catch it very good. This is uh, some of the water that creates the Blackwater Falls. The Blackwater Falls that obviously comes from the Black River. Um, it runs through the valleys and it creates the water or picks up all the settlements from the swamps and stuff and that's what gives the water the black tent. This is the headwater. Timmer's not impressed. Feeling any better? I mean, I have a headache. Good boy. All right, come here, Timber. So you're gonna make, make my truck no 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 come here timber back here come here come here come here come here come here timber all right i guess you made it that's not the way you're supposed to go you're a mess you stay back here gravy stay back here we only got about three to seven miles in on this day from what we see, this is a trail that the area has been needing. It's an easy pedal, nothing too extreme, and especially if you're in winter. This is the Cane Valley Lodge. It's the first time I've been in this thing, and it's actually a, a lot nicer than I thought it would be. It looks like there's souvenirs. Uh, this is a, I thought was the map, bike map, but I did get a handwritten map that they just drew on a map for the uh, trail that they just added. But there's food in here, souvenirs, I've seen some ice cream. Uh, this area has a lot of options as far as food um, other trails in the Davis area uh, there is a ski resort so this is the campground That's deer over there what do you think about that timber they're looking right at you <laughs> But there's like three loops of this 
type of camping. That's there. Looks like we got a couple campers in here. Just to give you an idea what the campground looks like. Oh yeah, it could be hunters. September. What do you think? Was it fun? Alright, just down the road a mile or two from the Canaan Valley golf course. This is Big John's. Looks like they may be closed at this point. That's the problem with this key resort. Uh, they're very seasonal. And this is the gas station. Yeah, I'm trying to search on where you better stay. Country store, they got Subway. Okay. Right. Oops. And don't look like they have diesel. It's been another good day out on the trail. I hope this video helps you find a trail that's suitable for you. And I hope you are able to go out and seek a trail and start your own adventure. Thank you for watching. All right, well, we'll probably be down about